Hey y'all, I'm Crystal and welcome back to my Texas garden. Take a little peek right here. Look, 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 look. I can almost taste the tomato sandwiches already. Today, we're gonna be putting the sweet potato slips into the ground. Now, if y'all are new around here, welcome. And if you're all about gardening naturally, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to smash the bell icon so you're notified every time we post a new video. Now, sweet potatoes is definitely one of my favorite vegetables, especially to grow in the garden. Here in Southeast Texas, they grow like weeds. And the entire plant, tubers and leaves, are absolutely edible. So they make a very good green substitute in the summertime when we can't grow greens around here. What are you doing? By burning them? All right, time to get our hands dirty and get some sweet potato slips planted. Okay, so here are some of the ones that we started off in dirt. And you can see that they're nice, strong plants. Even the small ones, they're very, very strong plants. But they don't have a whole lot of roots. Uh, I'll show you some from the water method here in a moment. They have a lot of roots, but they're not as big of a plant. So let me show you guys how I'm putting these into the ground. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just made a hole and then I've got my slip in the hole right here. Now, the way these slips grow is they grow roots out of their stems, kind of like your tomatoes and your peppers and um, even cucumbers. So wherever I put this into the ground, you'll see more uh, roots come out. You can actually see a little root knot right there. I'm going to go ahead and pinch off this leaf right here and we're just going to put that into the ground like that. And then I'm just going to put the dirt back around move these guys out of my way and there you go it's planted into the ground now because I have disturbed the plant it's gonna go into a little bit of transplant shock so what I'm gonna do to counter the transplant shock is I'm gonna make sure that the plant is watered well now this is just plain water all right so I've got two jars of the water started sweet potato slips and let's take a look at them so as you can see we've got some really nice slips they grow the water grows beautiful slips beautiful beautiful slips um, but they don't grow as big or as tall as the uh, ones that are grown in dart. However, if we take a look, we've got a lot more roots. I guess it's really up for you to decide which method works better. Um, I guess we could just kind of garden this out. What do you think, Logan? Just garden this out for the complete summer and see what makes more sweet potatoes? Or do you think they'll both make the equal amount of sweet potatoes? Probably make both equal. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm guessing. But anyway, so we're gonna continue planting here. I've got five more to put in the ground, and I'm just like I did, hi, hi kitty. Uh, we're going to take off any bottom leaves, just like I did on the dirt method. Watch out, kitty. And we're just gonna open the ground up and just bury it in. Easy peasy. And this you can bury really deep because the roots will grow out of the stem just like with tomatoes and potatoes, regular potatoes and uh, peppers and cucumbers. So there's that one and we're gonna move on before these roots dry out.
Okay, so here we're done planting 20 sweet potato slips. Now, like I said earlier, we're spaced out about two foot apart, and that's two foot to the center. And after I planted the sweet potatoes and watered them well, I uh, put hay around them. Now this hay I know has uh, no herbicides in used in them because this is hay that I harvested from our property here. All right, so the hay right now is only about three inches thick. And like I've said before, we need to at least be eight inches thick to keep the weeds smothered out. Now, as the season progresses, I'll continue to add more hay, um, whether it be from my own property or I outsource it from a source that I trust. Now, when I put this hay down, I left about a one inch diameter around the plant. It's kind of hard to tell because even uh, just a few hours later, the hay just naturally begins to kind of fall in place. I always give the plant enough room and just let nature take, take its course. And so eventually all the hay will kind of settle and it will settle right up against that plant. And, um, and it's really, really safe at that point. It, it, we're not going to smother out the plant. But some would argue with me that with sweet potatoes, it really doesn't matter because they uh, root wherever their vine touches the soil or growth medium of some sort so it really doesn't make a difference but I still like to give plenty of space.